Now our next speaker is the Right Honorable Richard K. Burn, MP, who has been the Labour Member of Parliament for Sheffield Central since June 1983 until June 2007. He was Minister of Sports for the rank of Minister of State as the Department of Culture, Media and Sport. In 1979, he was also elected as a member of the European Parliament for Sheffield, where he remained until 1984. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Cabon, MP. Your Holiness, uh, Lord Mayor, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and can I say to many in the room, friends as well, uh, as already been said, I've been a member of parliament for this constituency for a quarter of a century, and some say it's about time to move on, and probably some truth in that as well. But. Uh, <laughs> And can I say, before I became a member of Parliament, and it's quite an association now uh, with this mosque and a, 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 a place of prayer, it was actually, as was said, a pub called the North Pole. But they also used to have trade union branches in here, and I've spoke to many a trade union meeting in this, uh, in this, uh, in this establishment, this building, uh, over many, many years. So it's changed from a pub, a trade union, and now to a major centre uh, of religious activity uh, in this great city of Sheffield. Can I say, Your Holiness, it is a pleasure to be uh, associated with an organisation, with a religion, that says love for all, hate for none. And I think if you reflect on that, really that is what we all ought to be doing in the world today. I think it also fits very well with this great city of Sheffield. Already we said that many of your members of your organisation, of your association, have been in our great city for many, many years. I'll let you into a little secret. One of the oldest members, my dear friend the doctor there, is a doctor to my secretary, uh, Donna Parker. For those who ring my office, uh, she's looked after very well medically by the great doctor himself, who's been in this great city of Sheffield uh, for some 46 years or so, I gather. But in this great city of Sheffield, and I, I pride myself with many in this room this evening, to say that we are a multicultural city. I think we can say, and uh, I don't say this lightly, there is one that uh, I think is a beacon to many of the cities around this country. It's one that has had the harmony of religious uh, tolerance and religious tolerance, and one that's been able to withstand some of the worst excesses that we've seen of division, of racialism, hatred, uh, indeed, yes, in this country as well. But because of the way that we've been able to work in this city over many, many years, in e indeed respecting one another in all aspects of life, I think that this great city of Sheffield has been able, as I say, to live in peace and harmony for many, many years. And that's why it's been a great privilege for myself, Your Holiness, to be able to uh, serve this city for 25 years. But it was also a great event, and unfortunately I couldn't get to the House of Commons when, I think for the very first time, uh, you visited uh, the Palace of Westminster and spoke to many of my colleagues, and colleagues right across the whole political spectrum. And I think in that speech uh, you said some very profound things. First of all, a reassurance that's being given by your chairman of the Sheffield Association this evening, that tolerance is very important and that also terrorism plays no part in your lives, in your association, or in your religion. But also you went on. I suppose, really, in this week when we've seen the first black president of the United States of America elected, I think the words that you said uh, to my colleagues in the House of Commons ring probably a little truer, but hopefully a little more hopefully than they did when you actually said it in the House a few weeks ago. His Holiness began his address by speaking of the great conflicts that divide the world today. Wars have been fought in different parts of the world. He worried of even greater problems. He then went on and said, It is my fear that in my view of the direction in which things are moving today, the political and economic dynamics of the countries of the world may lead to world war. Therefore, it is the duty of the superpowers to sit down and find a solution to save humanity from the brink of disaster. They were words, Your Holiness, I think, that were taken very seriously by all who were there at that meeting. I think we can say, a few weeks on, 
that probably the world may well be a safer place by what the people of America have done at the ballot box indeed last week, and that is to elect the first black president of the US of A. And one, I think, if one's taken through the speeches that he's made and the policies they've pronounced during that, is actually to offer the hand of friendship to many. As he said, there's no active acts of evil. It is really now the hand of friendship to try to bring the world together. I think when we see that happen in the US and with the leadership of this association, then there is real hope around the world to bring peoples together in tolerance and respect for one another. And therefore, it is a great pleasure to be here this evening uh, to be part of yet another development in Sheffield. I understand we will beat Your Holiness while you were going to Bradford yesterday and open a similar uh, institution there, a mosque there, but you came down here. I am also told, I can tell you just privately, that as you were coming down the road from Huddersfield, they were just finishing the last bits and pieces off in here and indeed putting the name over the door. So that's how, how desperate we are in Sheffield from time to time. But we always get there. That's a good thing. And we can always work together. And it shows a fantastic team, led by this guy here as well, to make sure that things are right for when you arrived here in this great city of Sheffield. I wish you well. We take your words very seriously. And I think you had a profound effect on many of my colleagues in the House of Commons. I hope that is echoed now with others around the world and the many mosques that you obviously have major influence on that we can see for a more peaceful world in the years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.